Larry, what overhead crane rules do I have to follow? That is a very detailed question. A lot of it applies to what type of facility you're in and what type of equipment you have. A lot of people out there think that they only have to follow the OSHA regulations. Uh, in my world, the OSHA regulations are the minimum requirements, not the maximum. There's actually four sources of information that you need to be aware of. The OSHA regulations. The regulations are government guidance that tells you what you have to be, what you have to do to be in compliance with the law. Then you have industry standards. A standard is a consensus agreement within the industry on how they're going to behave and how they're going to do things. In our case, ANSI, American National Standards Institute, is the publisher of these standards. ASME, the American Society of Mechanical Engineers, is the actual author of the standards that we're going to use for overhead lifting. In a series that we follow, like the B30, those aren't the only sources of information. Your own company is supposed to have a policy that's going to address how you're going to follow the standards and regulations and what you might be doing different. And then the fourth source of information is the manufacturer's instructions. Everything out there comes with an owner's manual, operator's manual, some type of guidance. Now, of these four different sources of information, which one do you follow? Well, that's kind of hard. And it's whichever one is stricter, which means you have to know what is in the federal law, the industry standards, your own company policy, and what the manufacturer says on each specific topic. And what you have to follow could be different by topic.